I want to begin this video with a look at some advanced racers. In order for you to notice how effortlessly they control the clutch, throttle, shifter, and brakes, these controls have become hardwired into their sensory perception. They feel what the bike is doing and needs, and they automatically react to it in order to maintain speed and control. They do this by controlling the clutch, throttle, shifter, and brakes along with their body movements. The most effective way to advance in motocross is to perfect all of the 55 absolute techniques of motocross. This video will get you started on the right foot, or in the right gear, I should say. Now let's take a closer look how racer number four is effortlessly using the shifter. Right there, did you notice he just grabbed an upshift? A look at his foot. Right now it's on the ball of his foot where it should be on the foot peg. But look how he goes under the shifter and grabs an upshift. Right there. You can see his foot under the shifter, grabs an upshift. It happens so quickly you don't even notice it. To him, it's nothing. It's hardwired into his sensory perception. He automatically reacts to it. Now watch here how he goes through the section and he clicks a downshift. Right there. A downshift takes the opportunity while he's in the air to just lift that foot a little bit and tap the shifter to click a downshift because he knew that he felt that he had to be in a lower gear at the time. So while you're out practicing and racing local races like this guy, you should have learned all the proper techniques by now. So you're riding that way all the time automatically. But for, before you get to that point, it really helps to learn each technique separately and that's been my job 